Hey there, paper crafters. Christine Pennington, Fun Stampers Journey Coach 87, also known as Pennington Creates on Instagram and Facebook. So let's get started. Today I'm making a Thanksgiving card using my Fun Stamper Journey Color Splash pencils. So let's get started. You will need the following products to create your card. I will have a full list of products used in the details below my video. You will need Stamp Set Autumn Days along with the dies. It does come in a bundle. You will need Stamp Set Annual Celebration. For today's card I used Happy Thanksgiving Day. You will need Layered Leaves Die Set. You will need Journey Circles. You will need our Journey Color Splash watercolor pencils. You will need an 8.5 piece, 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock of buttercream. Our Journey white liner sheets. Silks in uh, citrus cooler and bronze. You will need ink pad rich coral and hazelnut blend. I also use Journey Natural Twine on my card along with some pearls. Okay, let's get started. I've gone ahead and pre-stamped my image using my Hazelnut Blend Color Fusion ink. You will also need a small blending brush with water. So to stamp or er, color my leaf what I did is I started with 0014, laying down some color, and I'm applying somewhat of a heavy pressure to uh, put down as much color as I can get on here. And I'm just putting it around the edges to darken that up, and then just a light touch of color in the middle. The next color I'm going to use is 0013. Again, putting it down along the edges. What I like about these leaves is that the shading has already been drawn into the detail of this leaf, and so it just creates a, a beautiful, natural looking leaf. Again, a light color in the middle. The next color I'm going to use is 003, and I'm going to apply that to the other side of my leaf. Now the reason I went with three colors is I wanted to make this look as natural as possible. For those who don't know, I live in Minnesota, and we're usually known for our snow in cold winters. But I prefer to focus more on the beautiful fall leaves that we get. They're absolutely gorgeous. Now the next color I'm going to use is 0021. And I'm going to use that on my stem. And then I'm going to take it up into the body of the leaf to kind of give that life of how tree or excuse me leaves are green and then they start to go into the process of drying out and creating beautiful colors okay so now the next step is to take my blending brush and to get water down into the well you just squeeze where it says push 
and that will fill up in the well here so you have some water on your brush. Now I always have a scrap piece of paper by me so that I can wipe off in between colors or squeeze out more water. Looks like I didn't clean my brush last time so I'll get rid of some of that. Okay, so now I'm going to start on the yellow again basically pulling the color in to the middle. Trying to keep the edges more dark and light in the middle. Now I'm going to pull the orange in. And then the red. As you can tell, these are very vibrant in color. Absolutely love them. Love our colored pencils. I would suggest you get an artist pencil sharpener and use it just for these pencils as you're needing to sharpen them. Okay. Now the last thing I'm going to do, actually the next thing, is to pull that green. So the water activates the pigment that I've put down and now I'm going to do continue doing the flicking motion and just kind of take my color, my green color, into the leaf and kind of filling in those spots. Okay. Now the last part I'm going to do with the leaf is the natural process is also you also start to see the brown and this is what I call a tip to tip technique basically I'm marrying the brush tip to the colored pencil and picking up come down here a little more picking up the pigment I find I get more color when I do it this way because I don't have so much water and then I'm going to go in and add this to the edges of my leaf. Do that over on the yellow. I'm just trying to blend in so you don't see that I've perp you know have lines. And if you don't like how it looks, you can go back in after it's dried a little bit and add some more color. If I wanted to add more yellow, I could do that. I have found also that you can use an eraser. So if you're not if you go out of the lines a little bit and you don't want to have that, you can erase these. Um, with just a clean white eraser and then get a little more water here. I go in the middle here and just bring some brown in there. And see how it's all coming together? Just creates a really fun, colorful fall leaf. And by doing the technique that I'm doing today, it's to make it look kind of, give you the illusion of it being a 3D leaf. So once these dry, uh, the colors are um, even more vibrant. It's amazing how, this, how these um, leaves will turn out. All right, so I'm done with my leaf. So let me kind of bring it up to the camera a little so you can see the colors. So then what I would do is take my dye. I've already ran it through my Journey Platinum and just pop it out and there I have a leaf. I also colored two more leaves using the 0042 by just adding it to the top of it, the leaves to give them 
just a little bit of brown color to them. I also wanted to show you the background that I sh showed earlier with the leaf dye. Um, I took a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of whip or excuse me buttercream cardstock. I added the white liner sheet. Um, this stuff's amazing. They come in sheets of eight and a quarter by eleven and a half, I believe, and you cut them to size. And what's nice about them is that you don't have to worry about trying to hide your adhesive on your cards or it seeping through. So this has will put a, a double-sided sticky on um, your background or your cutout. And I've already ran it through the machine as well. And when I take it off, this is what the inside looks like. And you'll see these just pop out very easily. All right, so let me go ahead and show you my card one more time. There is my layered leaf background adhered with the white liner adhesive. I put some Journey Silk splatters and then I started to layer up um, my focal point. I added the two brown leaves behind. I used a foam square to um, pop up my leaf and this leaf actually dried like that. Um, it's really neat. They kind of curled up to ended up looking um, like a real leaf drying up. And then I added my sentiment on a um, piece of whipped cream cardstock using my circle die. I added some journey twine and I finished it off with some pearls. I hope you have enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have any questions, you can contact me directly at creativetherapy at mail.com or visit my website at christinepennington.com. Thank you and have a blessed day.